Hey everybody, Funky McClunky here, and we're back in the workshop again today. I want to talk a little bit about resin printing safety and precautions. I know I touched on that a little bit during my workshop tour uh, a couple of months ago. I also said that I'm not going to give a full-blown tutorial on resin printing, and I'm still, that's true, I'm still not going to do that because frankly there are plenty of uh, YouTube videos already addressing that, and they all do a better job than I would do. But the reason I want to touch on the subject today is because I've seen a couple of disturbing things lately that I really want to address with uh, people who buy from me and also potentially buy resin prints from other printers as well. So let's get into it. Okay, so a few months ago, a frequent customer, another customizer reached out to me and he sent me some pictures and he said, now I know these prints didn't come from you, but I was wondering if you could give me any pointers on you know, how I might fix this issue. And the pictures that he showed me were appalling. It was basically some figures that had been printed in UV resin that were tacky, sticky to the touch, and uh, looked kind of wet. And it was very clear immediately that they were uncured resin, UV resin figures. And so I told him, you know, I helped him, I coached him through, you know, kind of trying to repair them a little bit. But it just really disturbed me that someone else out there was printing figures, not washing them or curing them properly, and then sending them off to customers. Uh, I kind of, I, I just kind of put that out of my mind as like a, you know, not the norm kind of thing. And then I saw some more pictures online from other people encountering similar issues. And then today, just today, uh, I was alerted to a series of pictures from uh, somebody who is kind of well-known in the Star Wars collecting, customizing community, who prints a lot of stuff uh, that other people design. I think he designed some of his own stuff. Anyway, not naming names, not trying to trash talk, because this is more about education than, you know, shaming or being mad at anybody. But what I saw in these pictures was really a pretty uh, gross uh, ignorance of proper methods for maintaining safety and quality in 3D resin printing. So first of all, just for those of you who, who don't print, and, and this, is, this video is more about, uh, you know, for, for customers uh, more so than, than for printers. So for those of you who don't print yourselves, but maybe buy resin figures, you know, you should know that some of the important precautions that need to be taken uh, involve uh, maintaining safety for the person who's doing the printing, but also safety for the person who's buying the figure and potentially painting it and displaying it in their home. So what you have to do as a printer is you have to print the figures properly in UV resin, and then once you take them off of the printer, you have to wash them properly. Now, washing... Uh, is usually done in isopropyl alcohol, usually 90% uh, IPA or above, and then you lay it out and you let it dry. Uh, there are water washable resins out there that you can use water instead of IPA. Now, what a lot of people I feel like don't understand about that is that water washable does not mean you rinse the prints and then you put that water down the drain. It doesn't work that way. It's toxic. Uncured resin does not belong in our water supply. And some pictures that I saw earlier today show that this other printer seems to be rinsing his prints in like what looks like his kitchen sink, but I'm not here to judge, but rinsing them with, with bare hands in water and letting it go down the drain. If you're a printer, please do not do that. And if you are a customer and you care at all about the environment or water supply or whatever, please do not buy from people who, who print things in that way. It's, it's hazardous, it's, it's horrible for their health, first of all, and it's terrible for the environment. 3D printing is already not a particularly environmentally friendly hobby. Uh, neither is factory producing plastic or injection molding or any of the things that we do. And people like me who actually care about the environment do our best to minimize the impact that we have by following precautions and disposing of waste material properly. Please do not run that shit down the drain. Okay, secondly, 
regardless of whether you use water washable resins to rinse or you use uh, or use isopropyl alcohol to do your, your washing, you have to let it dry properly before you cure it. If you do not let it dry, then you're gonna end up with really goopy parts, sticky, tacky parts that potentially are also hazardous to the customer who gets the figure and tries to paint it, that you don't want that because there, there's, there would be alcohol or water with little bits of uncured resin in there, that, in that residue. You don't want that in your house. So if you buy a figure from somebody and it has that, first of all, let the person, let the, the printer know. It might've been a mistake, it might be an accident, whatever, but take caution when messing with that stuff. Like if you see that in something that you buy, reach out to somebody or do some, some YouTubing or whatever to find out how to get rid of it before you put your hands all over it, okay? So you let it dry and then you have to cure it. Some people cure in the bright sun if they're fortunate enough to live somewhere where it's sunny all the time. But most people, I think, use some sort of device, other like, like, a, like a wash and cure station like I've got here or, <clears throat> excuse me, or something a little bit more DIY, which would be like a box uh, covered, you know, in tin foil on the inside with UV lights uh, mounted on top of it, and you you cure it for a decent amount of time. I mean, sometimes depending on the size of the object and the density of it, you're going to cure it, cure it for a few minutes, ten minutes, twelve minutes. I don't know, something like that. It's very important to do that curing of completely dried parts in order to set the resin in a way that it's not harmful to touch. So when you send, when you you as a customer receive a resin print in the mail, it should be dry, it should be matte, not glossy, it should not be tacky to the touch, and therefore safe for you to handle without gloves and to paint. Some of the pictures that I saw earlier today uh, really kind of defied all of that. Uh, the, it, it was very clear that this person was, was washing in water and letting it go down the drain, laying the parts out uh, to dry, which is good, but not letting them dry sufficiently, and then putting a UV lamp over it in what appeared to be a very inconsistent manner and then shipping these things out. And that's, aside from the harm that that's doing to the water system and to that person, I don't want this person to get sick, you know, uh, in addition to that, it, it's potentially harmful to the customer because like I said at the beginning of the video, somebody reached out to me and said, hey, I got this, this tacky figure. W what's wrong here? How do I fix this? That's hazardous to the person who opens that box and touches that uncured resin with their bare hands. You don't want to do that. So the reason I'm saying all of this is because I want people who buy resin figures to know who they're buying from and that their safety has been taken into account, okay? So just be mindful of that when you're out there uh, buying stuff, okay? Until next time, stay funky.